hi everyone um, in this video I'm gonna show you how to draw a hexagon uh, when you're being given uh, the radius or diameter of a circle this method here can be used to draw any kind of a regular polygon but in this case I'm going to first handle the hexagon so let's get started So we first make uh, border lines for our worksheet. A measure of 10 millimeters. That's uh, one, one centimeter. So when you're done with marking off your points, you draw these lines here, joining these points such that we can have our border lines. Okay, so when you're done with uh, drawing those lines, um, we need to make them thicker. So where these two, these lines intersect, it's where we're going to make our, uh, where we're going to draw our thick lines. Just like that. A 
also draw the plane there. Okay. So after you're done with drawing your lines, we have to to start off right away. So the diameter of the the circle that that we are going to use is uh, hundred millimeters. That's around uh, ten centimeters. So let's get into it. So we are going to draw a line parallel to one of the borders that we have drawn. Sorry. Okay. So from there, we measure off our 100 millimeters. So I have my small ruler here. So I put it against this line we have just drawn. I mark off 100. So this is the midpoint. So I get my compass. I fix in my pencil. You, you adjust your compass until it meets one of the points. Yeah, it's exactly that. So I draw my circle whose radius is uh, 50 millimeters and diameter 100 millimeters. Okay, so my next step is uh, to divide this line. So let's call this point where the circle intersects with the horizontal line. Let's call it A. And this other point, let's call it D. Okay. So we draw a line from A. slanted like this maybe let's call this point um, P so we are going to divide this line P into uh, we're going to divide it in an interval of 10 10 
10 millimeters that's what i mean so i measure off my 10 there this is 20 30 40 50 and this is 60. then now since uh it is it is a hexagon that we want to draw that's why i've divided uh, this slanting line ap into six parts but now if it was uh, maybe a pentagon you would divide it into five parts like that if it is a heptagon you divide it in, into seven parts yeah, you divide it uh, according to the, to, the, to the figure that you want to draw. So let's continue. So we name these points. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? So I join point six to point D. Sorry. So you draw a line connecting those two points and I'll, I'll, I'll get my um, small set square it's uh, from my set mathematical set then I slide off this line until 0.5 I draw a line parallel to line 6D. I continue to point 4. I do the same thing. I continue to point uh, 3. I do the same thing. Continue to point two, two. I do the same thing, and I also do the same thing when it comes to point one. Okay. So, um, in this case, to show that uh, you're accurate, since uh, we are dividing it into three uh, into six parts, line A B. And I mean line D. You find that point three will be exactly at the midpoint. So our next step, you put your compass at point D. Okay. Adjust it until it reaches point A. right so you strike an arc put at point a also strike an arc up we are on the same track so we call this point maybe m So we join point M to, to where this division of two meets line AD at this point here.
So join M to this point. Let's call it uh, point S. So through point S, we elongate it until it meets the circumference of the circle at point B. So we join we join this uh, point point B. We join point B to point A. Now this is one of the sides of the hexagon that we want. So adjust your compass from point B to point A, keeping the same distance. Strike an arc there and come to point B, point D, sorry. So strike an arc. Okay. And also at D, let's also strike that arc. So you join these points. So you find that this is point C, where the arc. Uh, meets with uh, the circumference of the circle given that uh, the center is D then this is E and this is F so you join that point Point B C B to C. So you join C to D. Mm -hmm. So you join D to E. After that. You join E to F. Then after that, you join AF. Okay, so this is the hexagon that we have been looking for. Okay. So after that, we are going to make these lines uh, thicker, like to draw outlines, such that we can bring out the real hexagon that we want. So that is BC. That's CD. This is um, AB. That's D E. Mm 
So that is EF. That is uh, AF. Um, this is the hexagon that I've been talking about. Uh, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and being together with me till the end of the video. Please, uh, to support this channel, I would like that you like, comment, and subscribe. Then also, if you really want uh, the steps that I followed up, please you can check in the description box. Thanks so much.